Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put an on-screen keyboard and mouse on your screen, as I said before. It's very simple. I'm going to walk you through the steps. So, what you want to do right away is you want to open up your browser. As you can see right here, we got Chrome open. And you want to go to the first link I have in the description. It's for a uh, no board. This website this is what this is what's gonna show up on your screen once you're done with everything and you just wanna hit this little download thing or a little download button I'm not gonna do it cuz I already have it but you just click on that you go through that you then once it shows up in the bottom left drag that to your desktop and from there you get where is it oh it's right here from there you get this so if you open that up you see all these options you see keyboards keyboard whatever the heck the rest of it says newboard.exe and that clipper library you won't get this one until you actually open up for the first time so to open up you click on the newboard.exe and once that loads in you're going to get this little thing right here it's gonna be blue and uh, square <laughs> so in order to actually bring up a keyboard on this you want to right click on it and hit load keyboard you want to first or for if you're going to do this for most games you want to go to edit J O A O 7 Y T I will show what the other ones do though this one brings up a full keyboard as you can see on the screen and you can change it to have like a little team mouse thing right up in the top right then you got game legacy this one is very customizable, but the one that you really want is the J-O-A-O one. So this one now gives you the option for this right here with the actual green screen background with the full mouse and then the most of the button, most likely the buttons that you use when you play. So my personal preference, favorite, is the normal black, normal white, just because it's not, it doesn't look bad, it looks fine. And so once you're done with that, you just want to close right out of that. So now, as you can see, I have this right here. But, now you want to get into OBS, well what you gotta do is you gotta go down to sources, hit add, go down to window capture, hit OK. And you want to make sure in the window you select no board v1.01. Hit OK. Now it's on your screen. But how do you get it? How do you get rid of the green screen? Well, you want to click on it. Hit filter. And inside of the filter, you want to hit add chroma key. OK. There you go. Now it's on your screen. It's simple as that. And, um,. You can move it around, you can make it bigger, you can do whatever you want. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'm, I'll, I'll look at them, I'll try to figure out your problem, and uh, I'll make sure I help you out with that. So, till next time, guys, see ya.